we are looking at figure 11.1 .1 on page 207 of your textbook. Figure 11.1 .1 shows uh, how the emission standards work, meaning, for example, if um, we have a marginal damages curve shown here, the one I'm doing in blue, that's your MD curve, your marginal damages curve, and I have a marginal abatement cost curve shown here. Marginal abatement cost curve. Okay, if no standards are set and a company is allowed to emit the maximum they want, they will emit E1. So that's the unrestrained amount of emissions. Then we put in a standard and say, listen, no, you cannot um, pollute or you cannot emit more than E star per year. We chose E star because we know that's the efficient level of emissions. Then the area shown by A would be the amount the company paid to comply with the standard. So they have to decrease from E1 to E star and that would cost the total abatement cost of area A. This graph isn't uh, very new to you, you should know this already. This is just showing and how to get companies to e start the efficient level of emissions um, with emission standards. So make sure you understand that and um, make sure you are able to draw it as well.